technology is being used in Providence to eliminate marine debris and improve coastal waters. Pete Mangione joins us now with the details that are new at 530. Hot Club was a busy place Friday afternoon, but it wasn't for the typical reason. It looks like a dumpster in the water, but instead of you having to take out the trash and put it in the dumpster, it's the other way around. The trash gets attracted to it by a series of pumps and a couple of um, gateways into the area, and so then we're able to lift the trash out and get it out of the bay. Joshua Miller is a Rhode Island senator and also one of the owners of Hot Club. He was part of a group of local leaders and environmentalists who gathered at Hot Club to officially welcome the first marina trash skimmer to Providence. He points out that it's the first of its kind for a capital city in the United States. It's estimated that it will pick up about 30 pounds per day of styrofoam, wood, cigarette butts, and other trash floating in the Providence River. If this estimate holds water, that's over 10,000 pounds of trash removed per year. We've made a lot of progress in water cleanliness, but we've got, got a lot of work to do on plastic pollution especially. There are already two skimmers running in Portsmouth and Newport, and another that was just installed in New Bedford. Dave McLaughlin from Clean Ocean Access says they have removed about 20,000 pounds of debris in seven months. It's kind of like watching paint dry. If you just stand there and watch the unit operate, you'll think it's not doing much, but if you come back tomorrow overnight, it's full of stuff that shouldn't be there, and you just remove it. The skimmer has already been tested and is now up and running, so that means it will be taking out the trash 24-7. I'm Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.